<clears throat> hey collective welcome back to my channel divine nature tarot i'm a reader Annetta, and we're going to tap into the energies of you and your person collective please excuse the background noise i have my <laughs> i have my dishwasher going and it's loud as shit it's like okay but i do have to do this reading before i go to work i'm working over time this weekend so you know I have a full-time job that I report to Monday through Friday, and this is Sunday, so I'm, I'm working the overtime. But I do want to get this message out to you, Collective, because it's here, and we're going to get it, okay? <laughs> All right, my loves. Let's rock. Oh, I got I got I got to say thank you. Thank you, Collective, for all of your likes your comments your subscribes your shares your just all of the love that i'm receiving the the cash apps is like oh okay i'm gonna use that to get some more decks but we're using big baby right now and um i just want to thank you and let you know how much i appreciate you because when you interact with this channel it helps to get the messages out to the world doggone to the universe for those who receive these messages and it's through your participation with the channel that these messages and the healing and the energies go out to those who need it so i really 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 appreciate it my loves okay all right so let's rock holy spirit holy spirit holy spirit <laughs> let's rock holy spirit holy angels thank you for allowing me to channel messages from the divine through the total tarot for the highest good of the collective heavenly father i pray that you'll send clear and precise messages through my archangels my spirit guides my ancestors that rock with you in the love and life and truth <laughs> heavenly father i also too ask that you will protect my energies and the energies of the collective as we open ourselves up to receive these messages in the mighty name of jesus i love you i praise you and i thank you amen amen shalom shalom i collective i stopped the shuffling right here because this is the message booyah you're dealing with your soulmate now i will say <coughs> excuse me soulmate energy is somebody that you connect with on a soul level this could be a best friend this could be a boyfriend this could be a wife this could be a mother this could be your children this is soul tribe energy with this soulmate but honestly i will say that this soulmate that i'm picking up from picking up on right now is romantic and the reason why i say that this is a romantic soulmate that you're dealing with is because boom they chose the third party over you. What is this? Okay. Yeah. This so look, okay, let's bring it on out. Look, they chose the third oh. <laughs> they chose the third party over you. And you'll rather walk away from this connection. You will rather walk away from your soulmate. Why? Because you listen to your intuition. Hence the reason this is the nail in the coffin. It's the final straw. It's the straw that broke the camel's back. This is the reason why you are in a karmic cycle with your soulmate. Ain't that about a bitch? Don't you hate that shit? Like, you, when you operating in the energies of love and your soul, soulmate fuck up because they want to choose a third party over you, that shit, it, it gets on my motherfucking nerve too. It do. Damn. They said, bring this out. I don't want to. Ah. Boom. I didn't want to. <laughs> it's a no for you. Because <laughs> this is for the streets. Do not let this person back in. Okay, collector? Because you're dealing with a soulmate that you're in a toxic cycle with or a karmatic cycle with that shows the third party over you. This is the reason why you should not let this person back into your energies okay into your home into your space into your heart things of the sort uh 
I will say this collective, your soulmate, they're going to catch that karma. And I got to say karma. And I know it get thrown around in all these tarot readings, but it is what the fuck it is. You get what you give. Period. So, if you were actually loving on your person and they disrespected that love and they chose a third party over you and they don't show me here's the reason why you guys are in a karmic cycle here's the reason why your partner your person is going to go through that karmic cycle alone it's protection you but let's see what's come out oh yeah hell yes yeah, protection this is Holy Spirit telling you to block this person because it's a cycle that is coming in for the person because of the disrespect of love. Let's rock. All right. I can't make it up. Karmic cycle. Come on. Yeah. This is your protection. God's rejection is your protection. That's why you don't need to let them back in. But you know, you got to listen to your intuition as we just seen. And then you decide for yourself what you're going to do with your person. With their karmatic ass. I'm mean, just saying, you know, they trying to run away from the problem and shit. Well, you know. That's wrong. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Okay, what messages do you have for the collective regarding that person? That chose a third party over the collective. Well... Okay, damn. Look, they running away from their problems. You know. This one right here have no understanding of self. Period. That's wrong. Thank you. Let's kick out some more Holy Spirit. Thank you. Can we get a little more though? I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, she. Oh, ah. Look, look at this chunk. I'm not doing all that. That's a lot. That's like 30 cards. <laughs> I'm not doing all that. Uh-uh. Okay. Those that hit the table, that's what we rolling with. But I'm not going to do no 40 card read. I'll be here for four hours. <laughs> okay. <coughs> this one right here. <coughs> they want they lick back. Excuse me, collector. Your person feel as though you gave them the reason to choose the third party over you. Ain't that about a bitch? I don't like them already. It's making me feel like you don't like their ass either. Alright. Do you think? So let's get it. Let's get it. So, let's see why they want their lip back. They be doing their bullshit. Ah, they be doing that bullshit. Ah, <laughs> Holy Spirit is here. <laughs> the Holy Spirit is here on your behalf, collector, and your spirit team whooping that ass. That's why they want they lick back. They going through that karmatic cycle. Because why? This one is a karmatic soulmate. And look at you. Look at you. You spiritually protected. Go ahead with yourself. Go ahead. This is a fuck. This is what the fuck they get for choosing the third party of you. This one right here, disrespected love. That's why they're running away from their problems right here. Ain't that bad, motherfucking bitch? I, I, I don't even know what to say about that. They gambled and lost. They gambled and lost. They gambled you and they lost you. They gambled on the third party that they chose over you and they lost that motherfucker too. Ain't that bad, bitch? I, that's what they get. Karmatic soulmate. Let me tell you, collective. With this soulmate energy and this karmatic soulmate, y'all got karma from past lifetimes that you got to clear up in this lifetime. Collector, you did your part. This motherfucker didn't do it. Period. You did your part to clear up, clear up that karma. This is why you were so in love and all of that. This one right here didn't. Running away from their problems, they ran right into a third party to run away from the problems and the karmatic cycle that they had to clear up with you. This is why I say, you did the work, this one didn't. Ran away from it. 
ran away from you. Things are still hidden from you. Some of you guys know that that know this, and some of you guys don't. But things are still hidden from you. This person is still hiding things from you. Hence the reason why they gambled and lost. But you already know the truth about that shit. That's why we seen the intuition in the beginning. If I didn't call it out, I should have. I, I don't think I called it out. My bad. Whatever. I mean, not whatever, but I, I missed it. I missed it. But they want your forgiveness. Collector, this is also, too, you needing to forgive your person for choosing the third party over you. Period. You're in a karmic cycle with your soulmate. That's just what it is. Soulmate is the first energies out. And we also seen over here that you're in a karmic, you, you're dealing with a karmic soulmate, okay? This karmic soulmate is mad at you believing. But again, I say you're spiritually protected. Why? Because that spirit team is whooping that ass. Some of you guys found the evidence in the phone, but that's okay. Holy Spirit is here. Holy Spirit done sent your spirit team to, to put their foot on their neck. Because it's a karmic soulmate. This is a high level soulmate. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's damn near twinish. Hey. You have soulmate and karmic soulmate. Oh yeah, this one did something diabolical against this connection that got heaven pissed on your behalf. This is why you're spiritually protected. You are a divine being. And you fucking with a karmic soulmate that fucked it up and disrespected your divinity. Period. This is why they gambled and lost. They gambled on the connection and lost. They gambled on you with this third party and, and, and the shit they lost. This one, they, I'm going to tell you something. This one right here, it ain't not that damn bright. They not that bright. And they know they made a huge mistake. Ooh, they know. Dude. They know they made a huge mistake. Let me calm down. They know they made a huge mistake because you're dealing with a fucking narc. This is why this one gambled and lost. Gambled with the third party that they chose over you and lost. This is a high level commitment. This soul contract is important. And you held up your end of the bargain and this one didn't, they didn't really give a fuck. They probably damn near didn't even know what they were signing up for. Because of this narcissistic energy. <coughs> it's easy. Blah, 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 blah. Come on. This is Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Blocked all this shit from you. This is why you spiritually protected. Because you're dealing with a narcissist, baby. Shit. This narcissist know that they threw this whole relationship away. This is the reason why they're losing everything. They're losing everything because this one right here is for the streets. And this one, this narcissist right here don't even know how to function in these spiritual streets. That's why your spirit team whooping that ass. Gotta learn, gotta learn, gotta learn. Now it's the time to heal from this mental abuse, from this player player. Now, from the player player that's still spying on you. Think about a bitch. You listen to your intuition. I told you you did that. I told you that, that you listened to your intuition about this one here. And, uh, yeah. This is why you're spiritually protected. You listen to the downloads. You listen to the messages. You listen to the angel numbers and everything you're spiritually tapped in. The Most High do not play about his loves. And when you love on a, a karmic soulmate that is a narcissist, oh yeah, heaven's coming to help. Period. Especially when you rock on the right side of God's righteousness through all of your intentions, through all of your decisions, through all of your actions, through all of your reactions. You better make sure that it's on the right side of God's righteousness for this protection the spirit spiritual protection that is all over you this is what you're doing collective you rock on the right side of god's righteousness and heaven has come to help you with this narcissistic soul mate that you're dealing with. 
Now this one to come back home because he see that you're the superstar that you are. He know who you are. He know how beautiful you are. But this one right here is sitting in misery and he wants your company. Or she wants your company. Hey, flip flop the energies as they may. If I say she and it's a fucking he, then go ahead with yourself. If it resonates, that's your story. See what I'm saying? This one right here still have deep feelings for you. You can't run away from how he feels for you. This one also too cannot run away from the deep feelings that they have for you. And those feelings are deep because you put the focus back on yourself. So, you know, this one right here with that spiritual ass whooping for this narcissist that keep running away from their problems and ran straight to a third party. All you did was put the focus back on yourself. Booyah! Now all the cars fall on the floor with this one. A lot of revelation is coming with this one. When you put that focus back on yourself, you open the door for this, your spirit team to whoop that ass. Because you're not focused on him. You Or them, excuse me. Them. You're focused on self. That's where the Holy Spirit lies. It's within self. You can't do shit about what other people do. So when you change your focus, boo yeah, you change that energy. And you put in a shift in the cycle for your spirit team to come in on your behalf and deal with this one. Period. This one right here wondering if they waited too long to come back. Now they want to talk about it. They want to talk about why, how they were tempted they, how they gave in to temptation here. What's this up under here? They never thought they would lose you. Now they want to talk about it. Now they want to clear the air. Now they want to have some type of understanding with you because they know that they had chose wrong and they fucked up. They know that they stabbed you in the back. And look at all of this. Holy Spirit is dealing with them. This is why you're spiritually protected collective. This is a high level soulmate, damn near twinish. And they disrespected love. And the whole host of heaven is on that ass. Ooh. Collective. You got a big ass spiritual team up in the in the heavens and in the, in the ethers. Your love is, is true and pure to the most high God and he's sending out legions on your behalf damn that's why I said this is a high level soulmate that turned karmic y'all was supposed to change the world in this lifetime it felt like y'all could when y'all first got together until this motherfucker right here chose the third party somebody outside of this connection or something a karmic or third party could be a person place or thing whatever the fuck it is they chose that over you and that was a violation to a contract and that's your soul name. There's a there's a soul contract here your person is worried if you'll find out about the truth about the truth of what the fuck they were doing. They wish you was here to help rescue them from the truth that they keep running from. That's a problem for them. You see what I'm saying? But I'm going to tell you right now, that third party, that karmic is getting their karma too. They intruded. That third party intruded on this connection. This is why the high heavens are pissed. Your person was open and allow a third party karmic to come in between you and the mission that you had with your person, your soulmate, to fuck it up. And now they getting that karma too. This is how energy works. Fuck. I mean, you know. Huh. <sighs> 
<sighs> this one right here is pissed, and this is why they want their lick back too, because their world is turning upside down. Fucking with this third party, this karmatic third party. Let me tell you, this third party was their karma. Because they turned into a karmic soulmate towards you. And so they involved themselves with a third party, and that's their karma. Period. Let's rock. Oh my goodness. Oh shit. Ah, they broke up with that third party. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> that's a, I told you that that third party is their karma, and now they broke up with the motherfucker. That's what they get. Okay? This is why they pissed and want they lit back too, because you done done with this connection, and you kept it moving forward. And now this one right here heartbroken and got some shit to say. Because they in for a rude awakening. All because they were scared to fall in love. And this was after you gone, gone from this, uh, this connection. Because why? You're woke and ascending on your own spiritual path. I, didn't I say that in the beginning, babe? Didn't I say that this was a journey that you ascended on? And this one didn't do the work? It's like this. This them, this you. Y'all had a mission in this lifetime to come together and help heal the world through the vibrations of love. You're supposed to be an example of what true love between a masculine and a feminine energies are. Damn near Barack and Michelle. Now, now that's just an example. Don't, uh, don't get all heavy off into that shit. Don't nobody know their relationship with them. But that's the example that they set in front of the world. See what I'm saying? So, they fucked it up. This one right here was emotionally abusive. Yeah. With the coward ass. Images, everything is what I, I heard. And they changed on you. Uh yeah yeah also too let me tell you this third party is it done did a, a number on your person shit they running from the third party too they are cow coward they are coward at the fact that they even chose a third party it's like they don't want to show they want to hide the fact that they they show they they chose somebody else over you it's like they ain't gonna let nobody know that Shit, they damn near not gonna admit this to themselves. You're dealing with a liar. This is why they changed on you. You're dealing with a liar. Damn it. This is why they ghosted you. They couldn't show up in the connection with you, so they chose a weaker link. This third party. This third party is weaker energetically, spiritually, emotionally, damn it, financially. They're weaker than you, and that's what they chose. And now they don't want to admit that shit, not only to you or anybody else, but also to themselves. This one is emotionally abusive to their own self, not just you. I'm getting, uh, I, I hate my self energy. And that, that's a fucked up energy here because <clears throat> they hate the decisions that they made in their life. It ain't the fact that they hate themselves. It's just they hate the decisions that they made in their life about self. Okay. Yeah, they're sorry, not sorry. They was not sorry when they chose the third party over you, but now they are. Yeah, this one right here left abrupt, abruptly. It was like y'all was about to get married one day and then shit a week later they done laid up with somebody else. That type of energy is here. This is that diabolical disrespect of love that this one has done. Hence the reason why the whole spirit team of heaven that is coming in on this one's ass is because of your behalf. Because of the disrespect that they had against you regarding love. 
they disrespected the connection they disrespected your love and chose choose and they chose somebody else for whatever reasons that they did who knows this is why they broke up it's making me feel like that third party left their ass in the dust For others, they felt they broke up with the third party because they the third party wasn't you. That's for a small group of you, but the majority of the collective, this third party broke up with them. That's why they want their name back. Damn it, that's facts. <clears throat> they damn near blaming you for the fact that they went over to a third party and that third party ghosted them. Third party ghosted. Come on, baby. Can't make this up. See what I'm saying? They changed on you for this third party, and that third party broke up with you. <laughs> That's why they running away from their problems. <laughs> they want to face the fact that they chose wrong, and the choice that they made don't want their ass. Ain't that about a bitch? And that motherfucker right here just oh, the coward ass. Never admit it. This is why I say they're emotionally abusive to themselves, not just you. Or this third party. Shit. I was saying that's the reason why the third party broke up with their ass because they emotionally abusive. Because they carrying over baggage and, and luggage from the last relationship, which is you. It's making me feel like they try to replace you with the third party. Hmm. This one right here, hard headed as hell. This one out here just ain't got no understanding. Ain't that? Yeah. Collective. I don't know. Your person, they just, they just with the shits, period. Yeah. You feeling like you ne this person, your person never cared about you, especially with this hard headed ass energy. And it's sorry, not sorry, hard headed. That's what the fuck they get. That's why third party broke up with them. That's a part of karma. Oh, shit. That's just. It is what it is, okay? You feeling like they never cared is the reason why you'll never go back. This is some cold-ass energy right here. <clears throat> Young person was, was cold as ice towards you. Especially when they even probably try to rub it in your face. Or probably really didn't give a fuck about you knowing that they went towards another connection. They didn't give a fuck. That's why that other connection broke up with their ass. They didn't see that shit coming. Or no. They didn't see that shit coming. That's what they get. This is what happens when you play mind games, bullshit, and fuckery. When it comes to love. This third party did them exactly how they did you. It, it is what it is. Hence the reason why this chapter is closed. Here's the reason why you're spiritually protected. Here's the reason why you have all of the spiritual cards come out in the pre-read. Hmm. Go ahead with yourself, collector. You have no worries. You need not, damn, you need not worry because there is no problems. That's that spiritual protection. Heaven is doing for you what you couldn't do for yourself because you love this person so. And they disrespected that love that you have for them so. Okay? Because it is your soulmate. A soulmate is nobody, but a soulmate is somebody that you connect with on the soul level. It, it's not always romantic. In your case, it is. But I will say we have multiple soulmates in this lifetime. Or the last. And it's people that you just connect with on the soul level. Kindred spirits. Kindred, kindred spirits. That's that's what it is, okay? What can you tell me about this soulmate? Yeah, you don't need to worry about this soulmate here. They done already made their choice. They done already made their bed. Now they got to lie in it. What can you tell me about this soulmate, Holy Spirit? Thank you. Decide now. A decision needs to be made now about the soulmate that's low vibing. 
So for some of you guys, you know, they're still in your energies. You know, worrying about them, wondering what they're doing, how they doing, who they doing it with. That type of energy is here. Even though you guys, I mean, look, I will say this, you guys are not talking. Because this one removed thyself from your energies. But at the same time, that shit hurt. And so therefore, you're still in the energies of what the fuck is going on with this one. This is how come your spirit team, Holy Spirit, is heavily protecting you. Because they're doing for you what you can't do for yourself at the current moment. This is for, this is for the majority of you guys. Of course, this is a general reading, so it doesn't resonate with everybody. But this is what I'm picking up on. And again, we have no worries at the bottom. But do not worry about this low vibe and soulmate. You, you got to make a decision now. What that decision is, only you know. Okay? What can you tell me about chosen third party, Holy Spirit? Damn. Awakening. <laughs> Let's see what that is about. They did that shit this year. That third party is a baby mama. Either this, this, this third party pregnant now or they have a baby already with this third party. But I'm going to tell you, your person do not care about this third party. Because this third party broke up with that ass. For some of them, they broke up with the third party because that third party wasn't you. And the reason why I say that is because now they're in deep regrets about this third party that they produced a baby with. You know, third party baby mama. That motherfucker always be popping up. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the confirmation. This is why I said in my other video, I'm so tired of this one right here. Now I'm start, now starting to see that they broke up with the third party, running from their problems and broke up with the third party. This third party pregnant and they don't want to deal with it. They're in deep regrets about it. Somebody could be dealing with an Aries. And now they want your forgiveness for having this baby with this third party. That energy get on my fucking nerves. Because this third party will not let your person go. Yeah. Also, to this third party is also to a soulmate of your person. This is why they 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 got this connection. Like I just said earlier, we have multiple soulmates in lifetimes in this lifetime. So you know, and it's somebody that you connect with on the soul level, but they want your forgiveness for choosing this third party over you connecting. Holy Spirit, not playing with them. This is why they need your help. Help me, please. Help me, please. They chose wrong. They chose wrong. The majority of them broke up with this third party. A little bit, a little, a, a minority of them. <clears throat> the third party broke up with them. <clears throat> Take the message as it resonates. But yeah, they want your forgiveness because they need your help. They want your forgiveness because they need your help. Why? Because Holy Spirit not playing with them. You see what I'm saying? This is why you heavily spiritually protected. Awakening. Your person is going through an awakening about the choices that they made with this third party who now have a baby or they already had a baby by. For some of you guys, if this if this third party already have a baby with them, they keep going back to that, that, that baby mama. When y'all go through y'all issues and y'all traumas and y'all y'all fights and breakups and shit, they go right back to that baby mama. This is a part of the mind games. If they try to play on you and the baby mama. Now they're trying to run away from the problems that they have. Not only with you, but with this baby mama because they're awakening. They're going through an awakening. It's starting to make me feel as though they're resisting this awakening because now they're talking shit. They talking shit about this awakening. A lot of them is resistant to it because shit. Revelation is here. Damn it, karma is here. That's wrong. What can you tell me about running away from their problems, Holy Spirit? What can you tell me about running away from their problems? Please and thank you. Let's kick it out. Ooh, thank you. They running away from their problems like it's no problem. Delusional ass motherfucker right here. Ain't that about a bitch? They want to pretend like none of this shit is happening. They could be talking to friends and families. 
about the issues that they have in this, in, the, in this life, but they're pretending like it's no problem. They're pretending like the breakup with you and the breakup with the third pro party is no problem. But they're talking to friends and friends and family about the issues that they're dealing with, with the problems that they're trying to run away from, with the problems that they acting like they ain't got no problem with. Delusional ass motherfucker right here. Get on my nerve. I just swear to God. Okay, this one right here is envious. They see something else. Okay, we're going to clarify that envy card. And then we have willing. Yeah, they're willing to be in denial about what it is that they're going through. Putting up a front. Somebody could be dealing with an Aquarius. But let's clarify this envy. Now, some of them, their friends and family could be envious of them. This is the reason why they acting like they have no problems or no issues to us when they come into contact with them. They want to keep that avatar going, that keep up that facade. They're living in that avatar because they know that friends and families are friends or family members are envious of them and the connection that they have with you. So this is why they acting like there's no problem. They want to keep up that facade. What can you tell me about envy? Also, too, for some of you guys, this third party that they broke up with is envious of you. It's like, how can you handle this motherfucker? I couldn't do it. Well, how you do it? Separate now. They Yeah, let me tell you. This is why they envious. It's because you separated from your person. Now they're jealous of you. Also, too, they wondering, shit, karmic cycle. This is what they're going through. This is this third party. This that, that, that's what I just said. This third party wondering how the fuck you can handle this one right here. I can't do it. And they envious of you. Of the fact that you even had a, a, a relationship with this one because they couldn't handle it. Either they broke up with your person because they couldn't handle your person's bullshit or your person broke up with them because they ain't shit. Hmm. Hey. It happens like that. Especially when you're on that demon time, that bullshit ass time. <clears throat> Somebody's running out of time. What is this that kicked over here? Oh, that's the forget. Okay. I, I thought I, I okay. We talking about the third party. Let's let's keep it moving. They broke up with the third party, and that's facts. Your person is wondering why. Oh, this third party party is wondering why the connection broke up the connection separated they're not together with this third party at all this third party is a single mother or father or did i say that right yep i did go ahead with yourself holy spirit i, I appreciate that and then we have all is well and happy feelings <laughs> your person glad that this third party go <laughs> Get out my hair because I don't care. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I guess that's the, I guess I did say that right. Somebody is a single parent out here because your person broke. They ghosted. Ran out of time. Time's up. Shit. Separate now. Whew. Somebody could be, ooh, shit. Somebody could be a Scorpio. This Scorpio is not with this third party. This third party is heartbroken. Because this, this Scorpio don't want to fuck with them. That's what Scorpio do. That's that death energy. They, 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 they'll, they'll cut that shit off. Ghost your ass in a heartbeat. That's what Scorpios do. But let me tell you, a lot of Scorpios is in this energy with their coward ass. I'm just going to say, this is why they got that ghosted energy, especially when they're emotional. That's that water sign energy, I'm just saying. They'll ghost your ass because they don't want to deal with your ass. That's that coward ass energy. Um, I love my Scorpios, That's that, but y'all do that shit. So. Emotionally abusive. I told you, sensitive. Very heavy water here. 
Y'all be with the shits too. Okay, let me get off of Scorpio because you know I love y'all, but yeah, hey, y'all do that shit. Okay. What can you tell me about emotional abuse? What can you tell me about emotional abuse? Holy Spirit. What can you tell me about emotional abuse? And the only reason why I'm on Scorpio hair right now because this is the only sign that hit the table. Out of all of this, these cards, Scorpio ass them popped out with all this water and emotions. So, you know. Y'all mean as hell too. Go ahead with yourself. Emotional abuse. What can you tell me? What can you tell me? Thank you. We have never. What can you tell me about never, babe? Thank you. Another man. Other people. Ooh. And know thyself. Look, this one right here. And, and look, in the, in the beginning of the read, I said this one right here is emotionally abusive to their self. This one right here is, is is they never thought that you would have another man or another masculine energy. Take it how it resonate. This one right here and other people. For some of you guys, your your person, this is how they abuse you emotionally because they throw up another energy, another masculine energy in your face. This is for some of you. For others, your person. They, 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 they didn't see this coming. They didn't see the fact that you could have somebody else, another masculine energy, come into your energies and 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 and, and block them with this never, because you know yourself. Also, to your person needs to get to know themselves because they emotionally all over the place. Another man or another masculine energy could have influence on your person. Here's the reason why they're emotionally abusive. To they self. They keep saying to they self. They did this shit to they self. Some of them, some of you collective, they were emotionally abusive towards you. But it's because they're emotionally abusive towards their self. Hmm. That's right. Somebody could be a Sagittarius here. What can you tell me about this coward? What can you tell me about this coward? Holy Spirit. Let's kick it out. Thank you. We have quit. What can you tell me about quit? This coward want to quit? What? Why is that? Here? I heard quit the bullshit. Go ahead with yourself. We have checkmate and divine time and quit the bullshit. I can't make it up. I cannot make it up. They want to quit the bullshit. Now is the time. Because Holy Spirit got them. When I make this car with Holy Spirit with this checkmate, it, it got them. That's the energy. Checkmate from the universe got them. Now they want to quit the shit. This is the reason why. Look, this is the look, look, this is the reason why Holy Spirit not pairing with them. Divine time and Holy Spirit got them. Got a chokehold on that ass. Mm. This is why you heavily protected spiritually collective. They in the chokehold because they changed on you, running away from their problems, the problems that they can, that they have created with this third party. Damn it, options. The problems that they created from the options that they have chosen. <sighs> Somebody could be an Aquarius. Okay. What can you tell me about changed on you? Let's let's get it. What can you tell me about changed on you, Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit. Yeah, it's time to let go because they changed on you. Uh-huh. This one right here is not the one because they changed on you. This is why you have to let them go. Period. Make that you turn. Turn around. I'm gonna learn that song. <laughs> but I love that, that commercial, so whatever. <laughs> Ghost that ass too. Uh -huh. This is how this is what you have to do energetically, collective. They did this physically, you gotta do this energetically. Because this one right here is not the one. 
And it's time for them for you to let them go. That's a part of this divine timing. That got them in a chokehold. Checkmate that ass. Because Holy Spirit is not playing. Okay. What can you tell me about ghost it, Holy Spirit? Thank you. Ooh, they're kicking out chunks, baby. Somebody could be a Gemini. Yeah, you ghosted not now. Because this one right here is not ready. This one not look awakening that came out. I told you this one not ready. Shit, trust that fact. Put your trust back into yourself in the most high here because this one not ready. This is the reason why. Damn it, not the one. Did I just oh I picked okay. Yeah. It came back out. I must have picked it up and then put it back, but it came out again. You awaken you are awakening to the fact that this one is not the one. This one is not the one, not now. You need to trust that fact. Okay. What can you tell me about sorry, not sorry? Holy Spirit. What can you tell me about sorry, not sorry? We have family. What can you tell me about family? Happy home. You've been warm. Love. Okay, what can you tell me? That's, that's it. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, you sorry, not sorry that you ghosted this. Look at all this shit that he, you know, he, she, whatever. Yeah, family, just do it. <laughs> Love yourself. <clears throat> and you're not going back with this sorry, not sorry. Going back, I think you fuck not. Not when you loving yourself. You clarifying sorry, not sorry. The person wants you back, but you're not going. And you don't give no fucks about it. Mm. Because they hard-headed. And this chapter is closed. And you felt like they never cared about this connection. Because they was playing too many mind games and shit. Your person never saw this coming. Let's go. Holy Spirit. What can you tell me about hard-headed? Let's get it. What can you tell me about heart? Thank you. Won't work. Divine union. Shit. It, this divine union will not work because your person is hard-headed spiritually, physically, emotionally. Shit. This is why it won't work because your person is fucking hard-headed. Huh. This is the reason why you need to let go. This is the reason why this one is not the one. They, they stuck in their ways. No understanding. This hard-headed energy right here is the energy of somebody who has no understanding. Hence the reason why this chapter is closed. This is the reason why you're spiritually protected heavily. Hmm. What's this? Oh, we have let go. Okay, that was this. Yeah. This one right here, it, it's like they intentionally blocked the connection with you and chose the third party over you because they just didn't have no understanding. Mm -mm. We can't tell me about hard-headed Holy Spirit. This is the reason why this divine union will not work. Okay. Okay, we, okay, that's there. Okay, I'm, look. All right, Holy Spirit, I heard you. What can you tell me about? Look, because you was their blessing. Come on. You were their blessing. And this one intentionally blocked the connection. Intentionally chose the third party over you. This is why this divine union won't work. And it, it, look, <clears throat> normally when I, and I, I forgot to say this too. When I had all these spiritual cards showing up at the bottom of the deck, usually I'll say this is a divine union. I didn't say it, but it came on out. So thank you, Holy Spirit. But yeah, all that spiritual protection is because it's a divine union or you're a divine being that has been disrespected by love. That's how it worked. Holy Spirit not playing. That's wrong. What can you tell me about close chapter? That one, I'll take it. And that one, I'll take it. This could have happened around the holidays. You could have separated from your person, closed this cycle out around the holidays. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Big fat ass. Yes. Yeah, something happened around the holidays that made you close this cycle out. Or that Holy Spirit closed this chapter out on your behalf. Because like I said earlier, you couldn't do it. Or you wouldn't do it, I would say. Fucking third party. This is why this chapter closed. Because, yes, they had a third party. And it was fucking with that third party around the fucking holidays. I'm getting Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. Some of you guys, it could be the last holiday that we went through Mother's Day. You know what I'm saying? But this is why this chapter, this cycle has closed out. This is why Holy Spirit did for you, but you couldn't do for yourself. Run away at the bottom of the deck. Stop, run away. Yeah. Okay. I'm not getting a message from that, but that's wrong. Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about feeling like they never cared? This is how you felt. You felt that this person never really cared about the connection with you. And they didn't. Not sitting next to my games and shit. Feeling like they never cared in my games. They didn't. This is the reason why this one is not the one and you need to let go. Or you have let go of this, this person here. <clears throat> for some of you guys, it could have been around the holidays for that, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about feeling like they never cared? Thank you. Look at these mind games and shit. The losses. They lost you because of the mind games, because they didn't care. That's what it just said. This is how they made you feel. Because of the mind games, bullshit, and fuckery that they were playing on you. We have two mind games cards playing out right now. Playing too many mind games and mind games. Like I said earlier, this is a, this is a delusional motherfucker. And now they, cop, they chopping up the losses because this relationship is no more because you was wasting time with this motherfucker here. What can you tell me about playing too many mind games? Holy Spirit. What can you tell me about playing too many mind games, please and thank you? Too young-minded. When I made this card with Holy Spirit, too young is too young-minded. Spiritually or, or mentally. Shit, fuck it, emotionally. What else can you tell me about playing so many of my games? Y'all are y'all have an energetic separation when it comes to you and this person. Thank you. Okay, we have Capricorn flying out here. Okay, so somebody could be a Capricorn, or this could have happened in Capricorn season. That is the New Year season, the Christmas season. I'm just saying. Yep. Big fat ass, yes, at the bottom, yep. This hap this happened around the holidays, the separation. Somebody could be a Pisces here. Hmm. This Pisces playing too many mind games because they're too young-minded. Your person didn't see this coming. Let's get it. Okay, tell me about... Thank you. You've been warned. Oh, you didn't see this coming. You've been warned. Oh... <laughs> It's a 50-50 energy here. Your person was warned, but they didn't see this ending coming. And so, you been warned about this third party, but you didn't see this ending coming. Okay. Damn it, loyalty. Very loyal. Your person has been... You've been warned. Excuse me. Your person has shown their true colors, and you've been warned about your person when it comes to your love and loyalty. That you have for them. You didn't see all of this bullshit that I just read coming. But others, your person didn't see all the bullshit they going through coming. And they've been warned that they needed to be loyal to the connection. And they did it. I hope I got that out right. Damn it. They were sorry, not sorry. Now we have this showing up twice. They said, bring it out. Hmm, you can find a bitch karma. <laughs> Ain't karma a bitch at times? When you on the wrong side of karma because of your bullshit. Yeah. 
Karma could be a bitch when you with that bullshit. Karma could be your saving grace when you with the right, the right shit. Mm. Yep. Okay. All right. So look, if this is the messages that I have for you, collective. If any of these messages resonated, please drop a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.